Today, we are going to be showing you the science of burning steel wool and how you can do it safely at home. Okay, first things first, be safe. Make sure you're wearing your goggles. Do it in an environment that isn't going to light on fire with the steel wool and have a fire extinguisher handy and do it with parental supervision, yes. especially if you are a child. Yes, don't go lighting things on fire if you're not prepared to accept the consequences. <laughs> Thankfully, I'm an adult, so I get to accept all my own consequences. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna show you how to safely do this, but first, this is Destructive Creativity. We exist for you, for science, and for fun, and we have new content coming out every single week on Wednesday morning. So make sure you subscribe, because we have a lot of fun doing this, and I hope that you join us. All right, so we're gonna show you how to do this safely. You could just take this outside to a concrete pad outdoors, as long as there's nothing flammable around, and just light it on fire. But it's cold outside and we have a nice studio inside, so we're going to show you how to do it safely <laughs> indoors. So, what do we need? Okay, for starters, we're going to need, first of all, a baking sheet. And that's just so it's nothing flammable. And then we're going to use some lids and create this air barrier. Right. So then we're going to put the second baking sheet on top of those. What we're doing is just creating an air barrier so that if we light something on fire on top of this, the heat isn't going to be transferred down into the second baking pan and light our table on fire. So this is just something to contain the heat a little bit better. First step with burning this, we need to spread it out. And that's so the oxygen in the air can really get at the steel. And it's, it's fine enough, you can just rip it with your hands, so. Now, we could just use a lighter and light it on fire, but it actually works a lot better if you use... A 9-volt battery. Now, steel wool is very conductive. This allows the electrons to move from the positive to the negative. Yes, but steel wool is also a high resistor. So, as the electrons are flowing from the negative to the positive, actually, because they're backwards, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it warms up and it actually heats the steel wool up to over 700 degrees Celsius. So let's try it. Go ahead and touch the battery to it and we'll see what happens. Just like that. Now you can see the sparks just coming off and there's actually a lot of heat coming off of there. So make sure you do this safely, because this could light your house on fire. Indeed. <laughs> Isn't that cool? So another thing that's really cool about this experiment is the fact that as the steel, which is an alloy of mostly iron and carbon, as it combusts and gets oxidized, it turns into iron oxide. And iron oxide is actually heavier than steel. So as this burns, it's gaining mass. That's so cool. And we're going to try and show that to you a little bit later. So now we have a lump here of, it's no longer steel. This is actually iron oxide instead of steel. It's pretty cool. <laughs> right now, we're going to show you, hopefully, how the steel wool gains mass. That's right. So, we're going to light this on fire. We have a lever with a fulcrum, and it's slightly unbalanced right now so that the steel wool is up. Uh, that means there's more weight on this side than that side. As we light it on fire, it's going to be pulling the oxygen atoms out of the air and pulling it into the iron oxide. And that is going to be enough to tip the lever down. And this is all hopefully, we don't know if it's actually gonna work. So yeah, <laughs> who knows? Okay, let's try this. Okay, um, I don't want to touch it with the battery, even though that is a better way to make it light on fire, just because that might actually give a false positive. <laughs> Oh, 
That's so cool. <laughs> so cool. Look at it go! pulling mass out of the air and turning it into the oxygen into iron oxide <laughs> and making it heavier than it was before. That's so That's cool. That's really cool. And it's actually, it's still going, so it's still getting heavier and heavier and heavier. One theory that has been thoroughly debunked regarding steel wool is the fact that instead of combustion, it's just that there are some small orange glowing fireworms that live inside of steel wool. And they don't like electricity, so when you touch a battery to steel wool, they run away and poop out iron oxide. I think it's true. Yeah, that's my theory. One little bundle of steel wool weighs approximately 27 grams. Now, I myself haven't weighed this, but there are some great uh, videos online that actually do this on little scale. I've given my scale away to Luke the Science Guy, <laughs> and I haven't gotten it back yet, so I can't actually do that experiment today. But in 27 grams of steel wool, it will gain approximately 3 grams of mass. That's really cool. That's like a 10% gain. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> this is Destructive Creativity. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let us know down in the comments, and we are, are always happy to answer your questions. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Plus, it really helps us out as well. If you want to get some of the material that we use, we do have some links down below to Amazon, and we get a small percentage of any purchases that you make. So, see you next time! <laughs> Bye!